In this video, you're going to learn the difference between who and whom. I'm Kat Sieberson. I'm the inventor of the Sieberson Method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast, especially confusing word pairs like who and whom. My description of the difference between who and whom is very simplified, and I want to tell you that this is on purpose. There are a lot of layers to the difference between who and whom, but the SAT is not going to test you on those, neither the ACT. They're basically checking whether you know that who, as a pronoun, maps back to the subject, and whom, as a, also a pronoun, but it maps back to the object. So one is a subject pronoun, and another one is an object pronoun. If this is enough for you to understand the difference, you can move on. But I like to advise my students and tell them that after the preposition, they will always see a whom, and if there's no preposition, they would probably be looking at a who. For example, I knew a guy who always bought me flowers. Who maps back to the guy, so it is a who always brought me flowers. I knew a guy from whom I would always get flowers. From whom? From is a preposition, therefore the pronoun that would follow would be whom. And that is my main difference. Whenever you see a preposition that comes before a pronoun in question, who or whom, it's probably going to be whom. By the way, comes before means to precede. And if you didn't see our difference between proceed and proceed, I'll definitely link it up above and I'll uh, put it in the comment box, box below this video so you also know that difference, which is frequently tested on both SAT and the ACT. Hope this helped you guys figure out what who or whom means. Why don't you take it upon yourself and make a sentence with both who and whom? And it serves two main purposes. One, you will now know the difference between the two pronouns. And two, um, you will get entered into a free um, lottery where you get entered and you can get an opportunity to win one hour of free tutoring with me. And we can talk about anything, SAT, ACT, IC, PSAT, any test you're taking, or perhaps you're just curious to talk about learning, and we can do that too. I look forward to connecting with you. Bye.